All right. Life update. Last time we talked, I was powerlifting. I was going to compete and come back and make nationals at Orange Beach, I believe, in Alabama. Fast forward, we're here. I am currently enrolled in a pre-service fire academy at South Bay Regional Fire Academy uh, in San Jose. And my first day for our preparatory academy is on uh, this weekend. And it's every single weekend of August. It breaks and then we go into the full academy. You have to have a bid. It's this whole thing. We go from 30 candidates to 20 and five standby. In the month of September, um, I also have my physical CPAT test and my S uh, FCTC written test so that I'm a part of the SEL California written or California CalJAC SEL um, list. So those are a lot of acronyms and stuff, but if you know about firefighting, that's kind of on the track I am. I'm also an EMT, uh, not registered to work in Santa Clara County yet. Definitely have all the paperwork for it. Um, it's just a lot. There's kind of no point of getting it unless you're gonna work for an IFT company or something because all of it has expiration dates. So just as long as you're keeping up with your continued education credentials for the NREMT, uh, and as long as that doesn't expire, everything else is really easy to get. Uh, what else? That's basically it. Threw a lot at you guys, but right now trying to be a firefighter, I'm documenting my journey through the fire academy and then post fire academy. Um, pre-service to see where I'm going to be at, what occupation I end up taking, whether that's Cal Fire, going to paramedic school, working at an IFT um, as an EMT, things like that. Um, but for now, we're just going to go chill, eat coffee, uh, drink coffee, eat breakfast, and then see you guys at the gym. What'd you get, bro? Oh, shit. Peaches, peaches and cream Danish with a salted caramel latte, big back edition. Big back, got a ube cold, if it focus, ube cold foam cold brew, something like that. And there's a dope Porsche, if I can zoom in or not, but it's dope. And then, uh, gonna knock this out, chill, and then go to the gym. I'm working, I'm recording, whatever. All right, so we're back home. Um, Besides my life update, I guess there's some materialistic updates. So my brother has a Tesla now instead of a WRX. I don't know if that updated, but it's also wrapped in this sweet, like dark uh, metallic purple. It almost looks black in, in like the shade and stuff, but then it, in the light, in the sun, it's all purple. And then for me, I got my new car. Uh, I don't have a Jeep anymore. It's a 2019 CLA 45 AMG. Uh, it's pretty sweet, it's a four cylinder. So it's just a really nice luxury daily driver car. Nothing crazy. It's pretty fast, but it gets good gas mileage or relatively for a sports car. Yeah, so it has a um, Panamera grille in the front. Uh, it also has Maxim to design front lip. The car is also lowered on H&R lowering springs. It probably lowered like an inch, maybe an inch and a half. And then it settled and it lowered even more. So it's sitting really, really low. Uh, I blacked out the badges. I got 15% tint all around with like a 70% windshield tint. That really doesn't do much. It just kind of protects the dash from um, like the UV. There's the back as well. Looks like it's sitting pretty low. Um, Maxton Design rear spats. Maxton Design rear spoiler. Uh, and then my license plate. I used to have I don't know if you guys seen it, but it's a black and white license plate. Um, it's all actually bought it off Etsy. Uh, it's not legal through California. I've been pulled over four times for it. Uh, so I just slapped on the normal one with my new tags and stuff. Uh, but that's basically the car. Um, I can show you the inside. One thing that I'm actually super proud of is my back. Oh, well, it was a lot organized when I opened it, but uh, I have this organizing tray in the back. Just because when I get my turnouts and SCBA, I'm gonna have to fit all that in the trunk. So here's just some spare clothes. Uh, I have some hats for whatever reason. My lifting belt, uh, my squat shoes, my knee sleeves, and then just some grocery bags. And then um, some of my girlfriend's uh, stuff I need to drop off at her house. But yeah, that's just the trunk. Let me go on the inside. And uh, super basic. 
get in here. So, just normal AMG, uh, typical 2019 interior. It's not touchscreen. It has a like a I don't know if a joystick is the right word, but like a little spin dial that controls the radio, which you get used to. Uh, you know, full carbon dash with red accents. Uh, the shifter is a little bit different. You have just some Stussy air fresheners going around. Uh, and then it's just um, black seats with red accents. It's not uh, cooling, but it is heated. Has red seat belts, and then I also have a sunroof here. So, super basic. Um, it's just kind of your standard entry level AMG, but uh, regardless, nonetheless, super happy about it. Uh, it's been awesome. I'm gonna be the one guy with a Mercedes or an AMG. Uh, in the fire academy and then everyone else has trucks, foreigners or jeeps or something like that. So I'm gonna look like a prick going into it, but it is what it is. I know I'm crooked, but uh, you're on my hood of my car. I used to work at Lululemon. Some of you guys know that, I don't know. Um, but now that I'm not working there, I can wear whatever clothing I want. I have more freedom, I guess. Um, so this shirt, it's a Pool House New York shirt. It's cropped, uh, so it fits pretty well. I also have these new shorts I bought off Arcteryx. Um, these are the three inch running shorts. I don't know if you guys can see that as a car drives by. But these things are really cool. These are a size medium and they're massive. Um, but they look cool. So I bought them and then I have my favorite shoes on. I gotta do one of the grill things, but the uh, Stussy Air Max. Gosh, that hurt. But Stussy Air Max, uh, whatever they're called. It's sad I don't know, but yeah, I don't know. This is uh, basically my new car. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get ready for the gym right now. What else? I don't know, I guess I live a pretty boring life, but taking you guys along with me. I hate this gym. All right, so we made it to the gym. Um, I have a pull day today. Hopefully I can get a good workout in. I'm feeling pretty tight from the run this morning. So I'm definitely trying to stretch out, maybe hit the stairs to warm up and kind of unlock the bottom half. Hopefully I get a good pump. It's just been kind of a lot trying to manage cardio, my caloric deficit, getting back on track from traveling on top of managing, cutting down in volume on top of like firefighter training when I start adding that in. So it's just been a lot. Hopefully it's a decent, this is my last week pretty much with a normal five day split. I go down to four days plus the firefighter training. So technically seven days of training still. So we'll see. I'm gonna listen to my body. Hopefully you get a good pump and um, hopefully I can get some good clips for you guys too. So we'll see. All right, well, that's the end of the video. Um, I tried recording in the gym. I think I got the rowing like my first warm-up set and my first set of rowing. Other than that, I didn't really get anything else. It's kind of hard for me to record in the gym. I don't have a tripod and I don't want to be recording in there, but I'll get better at it. Um, all I got left today is uh, I'm gonna head out to Target, grab some stuff, and then study. I got some stuff for the Fire Academy, just get a, a jump on it before we actually start. And then I think I'm gonna watch Twister tonight or Deadpool, one of the two. Uh, I'm gonna go with my cousin, so we'll see how that is. But. Um, yeah, until then, I don't know when my next video is, but hopefully it's something more interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm back. Peace. The party never ends. In a motel land with my sands, yeah. I'm trying to get revenge. You'll be all out of love in the end. Spent 10 hours on this flight, man.